What's going on internet? Chris Burr here and today I wanted to do a tutorial on how to create a CryptoPunk in Photoshop from start to finish and list it all in one video because I've got too many people who are asking questions about the first part video that I made previously and the second part and how to list and all these things are getting crisscrossed so I want to be very articulate very clear on the entire process from start to finish I will include the Photoshop PSD file uh, on, on, for this crypto pump so please everybody watch this video from front to back and hopefully all your questions will get answered in this tutorial all right mad shout out to all my haters out there you fuel the fire which keep the gas tanks burning all right so in my first tutorial and in this link you will get the photoshop psd file for the crypto punk 24 by 24 pixel template when you open it up it'll look like this so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and I haven't done this in a long time guys so we're gonna do it together all right we've zoomed all the way in and we have our crypto pump and we're ready to start creating and painting and doing all the fun stuff today I figured you know what let's let's do um, Homer Simpson as our next celebrity crypto punk I thought that would be funny and so I've got a picture here of Homer Simpson and we're gonna try to turn this into a crypto pump here's the eye dropper tool okay <laughs> Burp. okay so we're gonna go ahead and take that yellow and put it into I am gonna go to the pencil tool and go to one pixel because the brush what it does is it bleeds there we go so you want the pencil tool okay okay I'm just gonna paint this around there okay we're gonna make a little Homer Simpson just like that get in there and as you can see when you bring the pencil down to one pixel up here um, it's absolutely perfect so I know I'm going fast everyone, but go ahead and pause it and replay it and watch the video again. Put some more play views on that analytics. Alright, so we got our base layer of Homer Simpson. Okay. And he's got this, let's do a little light color on the back side. We'll do this little yellow right there, and give him some dimension. Go back to the pencil, back to our page, and we'll just do like this side you know just give him some dimension boop boop that looks good to me I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with his ear and then we're going to go ahead and come back here grab this dark side and go to Okay, so now we're gonna come back and we grab the dark side of Homer here. So now let's go ahead and let's see. Okay, let's swirl around. So we'll do this side. Okay, so now he's got some dimension. So we're gonna come back over here, grab our white and then just do straight up boom do the circles okay he's starting to look more like homer maybe we should have done that first okay and then he's got this uh i guess the ear looks fine it looks fine and then he's got this darker beard let's grab our color water there and then let's go ahead and do how much is it it's right under the nose Okay, so it's all of this. Okay, and then let's grab this darker shade um, and come under. Okay, I'm just 
Here we go. And I know that he's got this smile going on. So let's give him a full smile. And you know what? He's got, got this little... Homer Simpson, the Simpsons always have these little lips. Let's do... Um, let's break outside. Let's, let's do this little lip right outside of the CryptoPunk template. Say like right here. Okay. Um, maybe we'll... Okay. And we'll flip that back down. We will add this. Pencil. Now let's bring his mouth in. This one was a tough one, guys. Okay, that looks more like Homer now. Okay, and then they also have this weird nose. Okay, the nose kind of comes out. Okay, so I think that's decent. You know, it's hard to do. Okay, so we get this little lip and he's smiling now. Let's see if we can bring it up one more. No, nope, that looks goofy. Okay, black, black. And let the smile the next. Okay, so I like that. Um, and then, does he got some eyebrows? No eyebrows. Some white t shirt. Let's do some white down here. Um, pencil is good. So let's do like oh still got a black outline. Okay, so we'll do this white t-shirt. Control Z, that's how you do undo. Boom. Homer Simpson. Okay. Does he wear a tie? Homer's a no tie guy. But he does have like this. It's kind of good. Okay, it's like a collar, I guess. All right, and I'm not liking this because the eyebrows are connecting. Um, and then let's go back over here and fix these. Okay, I think that looks better of the Homer Simpson than. Uh, with the, without the hair. Let's zoom out. Does that look like Homer? I think so. Maybe we'll maybe we'll freestyle this. So this is what I want to teach you guys is sometimes it doesn't look right. Okay, that looks alright. Nope. Maybe here. Okay, so sometimes it doesn't, you know, you have to freestyle the way that your CryptoPunk looks, you know, relatively to, is it similar? Can you tell that's Homer? By looking at this, it doesn't have to be perfect. And so, I think we've captured Homer Simpson here. Maybe I've come too far out with this lip. So let's see if I can tuck that in real quick and then bring that purple pencil pencil okay yeah see that looks a little better since that's so goofy okay so that looks a little better
I would say. Boom, boom. This one has lighting, shading, you know, it's got it all. So I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe the nose is a little goofy. Let's see if we can go in, change that nose, and maybe the nose just needs to be simple. I think that's all right. Let's take a look at it back here. And that's Homer Simpson, dude. What am I missing? Nothing in there. Oh, that's good. Next shading. Okay. So let's call that Homer Simpson. Maybe we'll try some eyebrows. I don't think Homer has that. Eyebrows. Is that goofy? No. It's not gonna hit. Okay. I like that. Okay, so we're gonna call that done. Homer Simpson. All right, so let's get to the publishing. So, okay, so what we just did is we created a CryptoPunk from the template. We use a reference. We created it of what, you know, kind of what it looks like. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to do, his hair didn't do the double loop, you know, but they you know that, we know what that is. We gave it some lighting, we gave some shading. We broke outside of the template barrier to, to do what we needed to do. Um, you know, on the Donald Trump one, I busted outside and made the hair, okay? So, so you use your own creative freedom, come up with a punk that looks similar to what you're trying to do. Once you get that, then you're good. That's what it's all about. Well, in regards to mine, mine is the celebrity crypto punk, so I can kind of do whatever I want. If you want to make strict crypto punks, even in the crypto punks, you know, they have goggles and hair and hats and all these wild things that break outside of the template that I'm giving you. So have fun. That's really what it's all about. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Save as. We'll go ahead and save to the desktop. Oh, we can save there. Um, let's save to Homer Simpson. Okay. So what I did just there is I saved as a Photoshop file. And now what I'm going to do is, this is the second part in this tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is to create your crypto plan. Then we're going to come to the image size. And as you can see here, it's, sorry, let me bring this over here. 24 by 24. So we're gonna change that to 900 by 900 pixels with a 300 um, pixels per inch resolution. And we're going to click hard edges. This will eliminate all of the line glitching that some of the community is seeing. Click OK. We'll wait for that to blow up. And now we'll zoom out. You can see we've got a lot of pixels in this game now. Beautiful. Look how clean that looks. OK. So now zoom it out, man. Chill out. Come on, and Bill Gates. Okay, so here's our Homer Simpson. We're gonna go ahead and file. Now that it's been done in 24 by 24 pixels, we have perfect, we've blown it up huge, 900 pixels. 900 by 900 pixels, 300 uh, resolution, hard edges. We're gonna save as a JPEG. Let's go ahead and save that as a JPEG. You can save it as a PNG, that's fine. Okay. Click OK, save. Great. 
So I can close our reference image. I'm done with that. I don't need it to eat up any resources. I'm gonna keep this open. Actually, I'm gonna resave it since I just blew it up. Boom, that's good. Okay, so now I have another CryptoPunk that I've made, Donald Trump. He's saying you're fired right there. Buy, buy me NFT 10 weeks. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're going to take this image and we're going to control A, copy, control C, and I wanna bring it over into this Photoshop file and I'm gonna paste it on top. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna do that here in a minute, okay? So I'm going to use this as a template to cover up because I already have my template saved. I'm gonna show you my full process, guys. This is how it, this is how magic's made. Perfect. All right. So if you want to take your level, to, if you want to take your career as an artist, as an NFT or a digital artist to the next level, I highly suggest you do what I'm doing, and that is to label your art, title it, leave artist notes, put it in a collection, give people the resolution, um, let them know what the tools you use, create a Q&R code, connect it to your website, sign and date it. These are things that bring your art to the next level. This is why my art sells. If your art's not selling, it's probably just because you created some image on Photoshop or used some Google AI to make a piece of art. No one cares. You have to go through this laborious process that makes it real. And now I'm going to show everyone what I do to validate my art. Okay, so we've laid it over the top of Donald Trump. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go through and save as. And this is going to pull up inside my Donald Trump folder. But as you can see down here, we've got the Homer Simpson one. So we're going to do this one, Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson final. Whoop. And save that as a Photoshop. Okay, now I can go through and edit this as much as I want and not have to worry about, um, not have to worry about it interfering with my other Donald Trump file. Okay, so let's immediately come here and change the title of this to stupid. Okay, and just create a new layer. So we'll go ahead and delete this layer. This is all part of the process. Enjoy the process, guys. It's so much fun. I love making art. I love the struggle that it goes with, with it. Okay, we're gonna call this Homer. Wait, was Donald Trump? Yeah, it was, all caps. We're gonna do all caps. I like all caps. Homer Simpson. Okay. Oh, you know what the quote on this is. Dope. See, what does he say? Dope, right? I'm looking it up on Google right now, guys, just see. Oh, it's this. It's like this. D. Okay. Now, let's change the date. What is today? 08-17-21. Okay, and all of that is good. So we saved it as 900 by 900, but when I went through and I added this white section, that brings it to 1089. So this is, nine, the purple section is 900 by 900, but with the artist commentary, that adds it to 900 to 1089. You can do whatever you want. That's just what I did. Simple as that. Okay, and this Q&R code I created here at, okay, so just real quick, 
I create my QR codes at qrcode-monkey.com, and then you can add your URL, and you can really make it jazzy, and then you'll download that PNG, and you can add that boom here. Um, in regards to checking your QR code, I got a QR code app on an Android. I think the Apple phones come with one through the camera, um, but always double check your QR codes. So mine goes to my website, which goes to the Celebrity Crypto Punks page. It doesn't go to a specific piece, it goes to a page. That way I can use the same QR code over and over. All right, so uh, we made some changes here. Don't forget to save. God forbid you lose it all. All right, so this looks great to me. Now let me show you a trick. This, I get this question all the time. CRISPR, how do you get the glitching that goes and scrolls across your screen just like Beeple? Well, I'm gonna show y'all because it, everybody needs to know Beeple's not the only one that can do that. And I'm not the only one that can do that. You wanna go to Windows, you wanna go to Timeline. In the Timeline now, you're creating an animation. So we're going to, as you can see here, this layer, Homer Simpson layer, is out of time. So we're gonna scooch him back to start at time zero. We're, when we're talking about two frames, four frames here. We can stretch this out and you can see we've got five frames total. And let's come over so every frame is within the screen. All right, so our everything is running. Now, what I've got here in these tiny little bars that run, that is, and I'll show you from the beginning and watch up here in the white section, this is my this is my color glitch. As it's running, there's nothing that's happening for a few seconds. When I get to about two frames, I fire it up. Boom. I copy and paste cut, and all my glitches come through. Bing. And that creates a timeline. And that's how it's damn near impossible. It is, it is impossible to copy. Because you don't have those files, you don't have the cut in the way I do, and all that stuff. So. With that being said, bring your timeline back to the beginning and we're gonna go ahead and remove the timeline. And we know now this piece is ready to press. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go to file, of course I'm gonna save it again. And then we're going to export and we're gonna save for web legacy. Okay, once we get to web legacy, we're gonna go to original because I don't like the way it optimizes. It optimizes your your um, file. I don't like that. Make sure our image size is 900 by 1089. Correct. Looping happens forever. Save. When it saves, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna save it to the desktop because it's easiest. You want to go to your settings. You want it to go to custom. Press save, and let that save. Once that's removed. You can see here, um, and I'll open it for you, that our Homer Simpson has been saved. The date's correct. QNR code's correct. Spelling's correct. Artist names are correct. Great. Homer Simpson looks great. Perfect. All right, so at this point, you can go ahead and close down your Photoshop. Make sure you save everything that you want. This is the original without signature that can get closed. This is the one with the signature that can get closed. Okay, so we're left with this. And let me bring you back into the internet. Okay, so what we're going to do here, hold on guys, so what we're going to do here is sign it. Okay, so this is a secret that I use, okay, and I use photop.com to do GIFs on GIFs, 
this is how you multi-layer a GIF file. You can do it in Photoshop, but it just, it's laborious. So I just, once I press what I want, and I come here, this is my uh, signature. <laughs> You're gonna right click, duplicate into the Homer Simpson file. You can see here, we've got the signature. Let's go ahead and sign this piece. Control Alt T allows you to transform it. Hit Shift so it doesn't warp it. It remains connected in its original uh, shape. And we'll click OK. So, all right, so that's done. Man, I'm trying my fastest to bang out a CryptoPunks. How fast you can bang one out. All right. Oh, to the commentary of the guy that was like, ha ha ha, I think it's funny that you think that you could devaluate the crypto punks just by a tutorial. Look, I love the haters, man. Put the gas on. I have time for you snowflakes trolls. I, I love it. I will fire back at you. I This is why my generation invented the internet, to talk smack. I love it. Bring it on. I'll fire back so fast. Listen, it's not... What I'm doing right here isn't to devalue the CryptoPunks, original CryptoPunks. What I'm doing is bringing to light how ridiculous it is. Those guys are laughing themselves to the bank, and I would be with them if I was in that project. You guys are spending 30000 100000 250 millions of dollars on these pixel CryptoPunks that we can bang out in 30 minutes, guys. That's why I give you the template. That's what it's for. Saturate the market with pixelated art. It's ridiculous. That's what I'm talking about. Just so these little troll snowflakes know. Put the gas on it, baby. Let's fire it up, man. Brat, brat, I got the gas. Okay, so anyways, I digress. We've now signed this. Um, we have both of the GIFs running. We're going to now go to layer, animate, merge these two layers of animation together. Okay, and then now we're gonna export them as a GIF. It's asking me if I want to scale it down for 2%. No, I don't. I'm going to cancel that. I want it as my original size. We're going to let this think. We'll wait. Size looks correct. Let's save. Okay, so it's saved. Let's open it. Signature is running. Let me blow this up. Signature is running. Let's make sure our background's running. Boom, perfect. Okay, this is ready to press. Okay, so um, we can go ahead and close that out. No need to save, save it. And this is OpenSea. I've already logged in. Go ahead and create an account. Log in. I've already made videos for this. I'm on my Celebrity CryptoPunks collection. And we're gonna go ahead and add an item. Mad shout out to the people that bought, uh, to the users that bought our, my Banksy piece, the Guy Fox piece, and the Elon Musk. Those guys are, um, are in it. Look at them. They're already selling it. This one's selling for 0.2. This one's selling for 2. This one's selling for 4. Man, that's great. Alright, so to add a piece, it's asking me to sign. I'm going to go ahead and sign. Um, sign that. And let's go ahead and drag our media piece to... Alright, this one looks like it's signed. Uh, this is in the downloads. Yeah, so this is the one. We're going to go ahead and upload that. It's spinning. Things running. Great. So this one would be Homer Simpson. We'll let the link do what it wants. Uh, the description is dope. This is going in Celebrity CryptoPunks. I'm not adding any of these um, settings to this. It is going to be one of one on the Ethereum chain. I'm gonna create that. So this is gonna be available to sell. So this is how you add an item to a collection. I'm not gonna tweet this or anything right now, but now that it's brought me back to this CryptoPunk, what I wanna do is go ahead and sell it. Let's list it, okay? So let's go ahead and click on sell. And close this out, we need to eat resources. Okay, so I like doing to the highest bidder. Let's go ahead and sell this one since it's on a tutorial. Should give it a little bit more value than some of these others that I've cranked out. And let's list this at 0.25. Let's list it at 0.2 and give people a chance. What's 1.75? Let's list it at 0.2. That's fine, whatever. 
Okay, and let's do the expiration day um, in a uh, month. Let's, uh, maybe we'll do two weeks. Okay, so one, two, yeah, let's do October 1st. 735 looks good to me. So we're going to list this at the highest bidder. Minimum bid is 0.2 ETH or rat Ethereum. $607 at this current time. Uh, the, uh, it's going to end October 1st, and all you do is post your listing. You're, I'm going to get, uh, or OpenSea is going to get 2.5%. Celebrity CryptoPunks gets 10%, so total 12.5% on every purchase. So post your listing. And then we're going to sign this. So this is uh, initialize the wallet, approve the token, and we're going to confirm that. Sign it. Boom. And now it's listed for sale. Let's go ahead and view that item. Great. Home Simpson is now listed at 0.2 ETH. Great. So, sale ends in 45 days, October 1st. I hope that everybody has got the entire grip of what we're doing here. CryptoPunk, Photoshop, Photopia, Photopea, how to get a GIF on a GIF. Take the extra time to sign your art, create a way for it to not be duplicated. I get all these haters who are like, oh, I could just copy and write, copy and paste. You can't, first off, you can't do that on my website. I've locked you out from doing that. You, you can try and do that here, but you cannot copy and, and, and duplicate the signatures. It's also not the same, um, you know, smart contract, but all you haters, you, you already, obviously, you're smart enough to know that. You're smart enough to know that. You can copy this image, but it's not the same smart contract. It's not by CRISPR. Everybody knows that's a forgery, just like trying to fake a painting. So nobody's going to pay you, blockhead. So <laughs> um, I also had a lot of other things I wanted to talk about. I hope everybody found this tutorial really informational. One thing I do want to talk about is this few things one go to crispr-art.com I'm launching my own NFT marketplace I've got my I've got my own token the squall token 14 days for this pre-sale if you buy now you'll get in on ground level okay go to squall uh, pre-sale and buy that okay here's the tokenomics it's the full rundown okay Two, I'm giving away a soup can. Click here to enter, okay? When I open my NFT store, the squall token will be required eventually to mint NFTs, okay? I've got a couple of pieces on Rarible right now for sale. The NFT gallery is half off, go buy it. If you're an influencer and you wanna work with me, give me a shout out, give me a contact, and let's talk. Okay, and the biggest thing that I wanted to talk about tonight was a collection that I just dropped, which is stupid. And I mean that in the most satire, uh, what is it, satire, satirical way. I just dropped a collection called NFT Ecstasy, okay? This right here is a hundred original pieces, animated pieces that are made with Adobe, Creative Suite, and Real Ecstasy. No joke, this is Real Ecstasy. And I, and I titled this as, a, you know, my quote on this one is, absurdity is the ecstasy of intellectualism, people. And you know what to do with these. Buy, I've created an ecosystem for you to buy, sell, and make money. Instead of going on the streets and selling drugs, sell digital art. This is what gives it value. I've got a hundred different pieces. 66 are, are done. I've got a few more to do. Get on it now. Every single one's priced. Contact me if you have any questions. I got some funny ones here. Shout out to my man that wanted to get the Philip Plain pill. This one came from Germany right here. You know, we got the Bacardi, the Tesla, the poop emojis, the Pikachu, 
Bitcoin. This this video right here on YouTube has 5.7 thousand views. Right now it's on sale. Almost 0.1 week. I mean, this right here is something I really wanted to talk about. Red Mortal Combat pill. I mean, we got the yellow Bitcoin, the red Obama right here. I mean, this is something that's funny. You can make money. I think uh, people in my generation get it. Here's a yellow Homer Simpson. I want you to buy and sell and trade. These should be easy to sell. If you're with it and you get it, then come with me and get on this while it's gonna get it's gonna get hot in this environment. Buy this before this gets banned and put this in your wallet, man. This is some hot nonsense. Okay. Also, let's jump over to YouTube real quick. I want to finish talking with this. Hopefully I'm signed in. I have to I'm gonna have to edit this. It's ridiculous. Let's go to my channel. Okay, look at this. 5.7 thousand views on this. Shout out to all the haters that were talking smack on that one. I love it, man. Fuel the fire. I got some new VR videos that are coming out. 202 subscribers. I keep telling you, don't like my stuff. Don't follow me. Get a life. Go do something. People keep subscribing. You know what? Subscribe. I don't even care anymore. Join it. Apparently, I'm doing something right. Everybody wants to know what's going on. I guess go ahead and subscribe. I love talking to everybody. I do love talking to everybody. Um, you know, I got a big team that works with me in regards to um, development, marketing, but I personally am still in, am in charge of all my communication. So you do talk to me when you, when you chop it up on all of my social media. I refuse to let anyone take charge of that and talk on my behalf. I do talk for myself. So if you are running your mouth online, you're going to get fired back from me. If you have questions, I'm the one that answers. So uh, thank you to everybody that's in the community that is um, asking me questions. And I hope that you're learning stuff and that you're making money and selling art. Like I said, shout out to all the people that have bought my NFTs. I hope you make money. Um, like I said, this guy right here, going back to OpenSea, Oh, actually, I'm going to go to my collections. This guy right here, man. Shout out to all of all of the buyers. But this guy right here, man. I love this guy right here. I love all of them, but this guy right here, man, cracks me up. Dude bought Elon Musk at... Look, we can see the transaction history. At uh, Shapeshifter. This is one of the first videos I did on, the, on the accepting. And I'm going to make another video in how to accept a... Um, bid offer on OpenSea because that first video that I made every you know I had to you know establish my account as a as a seller and so that's why I had three transactions the last two that I sold it's very simple it's one simple gas fee transaction to transfer that NFT to that individual's wallet but anyways shapeshifter uh, got this for point one this fool listed it for 420 ETH my guy then listed it for 42 ETH, 32 ETH, and then 4 ETH right now is where it's sitting at. And that's sitting at $12,000. I hope, man, pay this man. I hope he gets his money. That's too funny. If you do sell that, Shapeshifter, you know, cut me a check, Bubba. All right, anyways, I think I ran my tape. I think I got my message across. I hope you found this video informational. And, um, you know, like I said, Go ahead, I, I guess everybody's subscribing even though I tell them not to. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube. That's really where I pay attention to things. Um, if you have a question, just go ahead and ask me on whatever video you're questioning about. Uh, here's all my links. Go buy some NFTs while you can. Get the squad token before I launch my uh, NFT marketplace. And I hope you guys make a killing on the crypto punk circuit. Once again, shout out to all my hitters. Talk to you later. Thanks, Internet. And remember, artists gonna art. <laughs>